Alrighty, let's get started. I'm just going to go over here and create a new board. Uh, I'm going to said create a shared board. And of course, you can have your own private boards if you upgrade uh, to the plan. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the free one here. But I'll, I'll bring up upgradable options uh, as we go through. It's going to start here with templates. Uh, if you want to use a template, you can scroll down here. You can type in what type of template you want to use. Uh, in fact, if you exit out of here and you're just in Miro, you can also go over here to the template button and click it at any time. And like I said before, you can go through here and you can search for, you know, we got brainstorming uh, templates you can use. You can also go over here to Miroverse. These are user created boards. You can go in here and you can say, hey, you know what, let's look at brainstorming boards that other people have used. You can scroll through here. If anything looks interesting, you can click on it and you can actually click and go in here and check it out and see how it's all broken up. And if you want to use it, you can use a blank template or you can use a pre-filled template. Uh, so you can click either one of those. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and start fresh. And we got our big Miro board here by default. You can click and you can get the hand and you can kind of just pan around your board. Uh, speaking of panning and uh, navigation, you can go up here to your settings and probably, I mean, I use this on my desktop, so I'm going to go in here to navigation mode, set this to mouse, uh, and then I'm good to go. Of course, there's a bunch of other settings in here. Uh, we may touch on some of these as we go. But for now, this is your big blank board. Uh, down here in the lower right, you're going to see there's a zoom. And if you just click that, it's going to zoom to 100. So if you use your middle mouse key, you can zoom in and out on your board. Uh, and then just click that to get back to 100% zoom. Uh, of course, there's other options in here. There's your pin map and full screen, uh, fit to screen, and then zoom in and zoom out. Of course, like I said before, you can just use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, the danger here being, if you just start like this and you zoom way out, or you zoom way in, you don't really know what size things are. So what I like to do is just, you know, stay at 100% zoom, go over here to like the text option here and just click in here. It's gonna default in mine to Open Sans uh, 14 point text. Go ahead and type something. We just click off to have this and now you have some text and this is 14 point text. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out and then I'll kind of anchor you to, okay, this is the size of things. So if you ever bring in an image or something that's really big, you can scale it down to kind of fit within you know, the context of the board so you don't find yourself zoomed way out or zoomed way in with really huge objects or really small objects. But we're kind of get our, getting ahead of ourselves here. So if you want to go ahead and select, uh, you know, an object, you can tap on it and then click out here in your board to unselect it. What I like to do is go ahead and turn off that selection mode here. So you can see select is the hotkey for that is V. Uh, so now what we have is when this is on, it's an arrow and you can go through here and you can click things. You can hold down shift and click things. Uh, use your middle mouse to kind of pan around your scene and then click off to unselect things. Uh, we'll get more into selection as we go. Uh, if you have this off, that turns it into hand mode and that's just like a kind of panning and viewing mode so you don't accidentally grab stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little arrow icon, click the text, hit delete. And uh, we'll talk about some more of these options over here. Uh, the first one being, uh, this is a big toolbar here. Uh, your may, your, yours may look a little different. If you're working on a very small screen, the smaller you make the screen, the less you'll be able to see, see of this toolbar. So then you have to click this little down arrow to kind of cycle through. Um, but we'll go ahead and make this full size again. And what shows up over here is kind of dependent on you. Uh, you can click and drag and move these things around. So if you want to move cards uh, up, or if you use comments a lot more, you can move comments up. Uh, or a pin, you can just kind of drag and move these icons around. And in fact, this little three dots down here, there's more options. So, and you can even give you get even more apps. So you can actually search for apps and tools, get more apps. Or if you see anything in here you use a lot, like, oh, tables, I use tables a lot. Just click and drag tables over here. Uh, if you find something over here you don't use a lot, like Google Image Search, you can just drag it right back in here. So it's kind of up to you how you want this to be organized and what's gonna be on there. Now we've already talked about templates. I'm going to go one down and that's going to be the sticky note option. And of course, again, the hotkey for that is N. Uh, so you can tap N on your keyboard. It'll bring up the sticky note options. Then just click in here, grab a sticky note, plop it on your board just by clicking. And then you can start typing notes on this. And of course, you can keep typing and it'll auto size. You can see we have the font size is set to auto. If you want to add more sticky notes, you can just hit the tab key and that'll create a sticky note laterally to the right of it. And you can use this as kind of just a way to brainstorm and of course just tap off just to get out of that uh, selection mode. So you can go through here, you can select these individually, you can hold down shift like we mentioned before, hold down shift and drag over these to select all of them. Uh, you can control click to unselect some. If these get out of order, you can, or, you know, they're not aligned in here. So you can hold down shift, select multiple, and then right here in the corner, there's a quick align right here. So you can actually drag this to the left, drag this to the right, and that'll align all of your objects pretty quickly. 
Um, if you need very specific alignment, there is an alignment option. You can hold down the shift and select, and then right here, there's more align objects options in here. So if you want to align them all, so if you want to uh, distribute options vertically or horizontally or align them all you know, down the middle, uh, you can, of course, most often, if I just have a bunch of stuff on here, I can just grab this right corner and that'll just go ahead and snap them you know, to a straight line. Uh, just really quickly, there's even, you know, that, that that's fine. And you can actually, if you have a object selected, you can go hold down Alt and drag out a copy of it. So if you just need to make a modification to one, if you just double click in your board, that'll recreate the last thing that you made. So in this case, we created a sticky note and it'll just recreate a sticky note. So you can just double click on the board and it'll make more sticky notes. Uh, if you want to, if you need to type in a bunch of stuff, you can go into the sticky note option. You can go down here to bulk mode and you can just start typing and just hit enter. And then when you're done, you can hit control enter and that'll go ahead and put all of these stickies that you typed in uh, over here. Now, if you have a spreadsheet somewhere, you can open up a spreadsheet. You can just shift click a bunch of cells, hit control C to copy, control V to paste in your board, and that'll go ahead and copy these uh, sticky notes here. You're also gonna see it'll pick up the coloring that you have in here. If you don't want those colors, you can literally, with these ones selected, you can go up here to the color options, switch it out to a different color. Again, control click ones you wanna change out, switch those to a different color. And you'll see when you select any one of these, you have your font style, you have your uh, font size options in here, uh, how your text is aligned, if you want it left, middle, right, and if you want it the top, bottom, or middle. So for example, if I change this out to just test here, and it's like, you know what, I want these to be, you know, I want that text to be up there at the top. It'll shoot it up there at the top. Uh, you also see up here, that's the sticky note icon. You can switch what type of object this is. So if it's like, you know what, I'm done with sticky notes, I wanna change this out to a shape, just go down here and make it into a shape. And uh, shapes we'll get to in just a second, but that's an easy way uh, to go ahead and change changes. If you want to change it back to a sticky note, go right ahead. Uh, here you can actually link this to another Miro object. So if you go through here and say, you know, you can paste a link to a website, or if you want this to be like, hey, you know what? This is actually referencing this over here. You can click here, go to the three dots option, say link to. Just go ahead and select that other object here, say confirm, and you'll see a little arrow there. So when you're over here on your board and you're like, oh, you know, test, this is gonna reference something else on the board, just click here, it'll shoot you right over there uh, to the referenced object. If you don't like that, just go in here, say edit link, and say delete link. Now we've mentioned hotkeys before. You can actually, there's a whole page on Miro hotkeys. You can go through here and see what they all do. Uh, since we've been zooming a lot, you can, uh, if you want to zoom to the full board, that's control one. If you want to zoom to a specific object, you just select it and hit control two. Uh, and like we mentioned before, if you want to make a new sticky note, that's N. You want to make a new shape, S. Uh, lines in between, connecting lines, that's L. Uh, so there's a lot of hotkeys you can use to kind of speed up your workflows.